Good morning everyone and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We are located in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. Stepping out of our comfort zone a little bit today and we're going to take a look at one of the used pickups that we have on the lot. You know, Freightliner is our bread and butter here, but we do sell some very high quality pickups. This is a 2017 Ford F-150. Now by taking a look at it from the side, you wouldn't think that it has very many miles on it. It actually has 87,000. This truck was very, very well maintained. Our standard, standard operating procedure for trade-ins is to take them to a certified dealer. This went to the local Ford dealership where it was thoroughly inspected. We did all the oil changes on it, so you're good to go for a while. In addition to the truck, you can see that we, there are a couple of additions to it, and we're certainly going to take a look at those as we go throughout the video. This truck is four-wheel drive, and it has the FX4 off-road package. So what does that mean? It means that the underneath of the truck is protected. We have the plates underneath, so if you are you know, off-roading, things like that, underneath the truck is protected. F-150 badge right here. This is the XLT trim level. As we look at the truck from the front, the big thing that sticks out at us is that grill guard. This one is extremely tough. You know, the history of this truck, it never left the state of Colorado. I printed out the Carfax and we're going to go through that as well. But that is a grill guard that's put on. If you look at the lights, you know, the lights are protected as well. As we start at the ground, it has fog lights running on each side. We see the Ford badge located here. Now we take a look at the hood. You know, to me, transparency is everything. We don't try to hide anything in, in the videos that we have. We simply present the inventory and try to be as honest as we can. And as you can see, there is some pitting on the hood of this truck. But I mean, it's a 2017. You can expect a little bit of that. As we take a look under the hood, that is Ford's 5.0 liter engine. It's also known as the Coyote. So why is it named that? Well, in the 1960s and early 70s, a race car driver named A.J. Foyt had an engine that was very similar put in that car. That car did a lot of winning. That car was named the Coyote. So that is how that engine in particular got its name. That engine actually has 375 horsepower. Consequently, you're able to tow a little bit with this pickup as well. As we come on in and take a look at the tires, those, those are more aggressive tire, as you can see with lots of wear left on them with the treading designed to be more aggressive. If you get into mud, things like that, you can sure get yourself out of it. This truck is stock number 5U240145. Now this is an extended cab. So this truck would really fit a multitude of customers. And I'll give you some examples. This truck would be perfect for a young person just starting out, you know, being their first pickup. There's one example. Another one would be a couple that's maybe retired and want to tow it behind their motorhome. In fact, that is how we obtained this truck. It was traded in in Fountain, Colorado by people that that's what they did. It was towed behind the RV. So there is another example, a young couple that likes to go camping on the weekends. There's another example. 
where it already has the soft top on, just throw your things in and go. <coughs> so as you can see, this truck would fit a multitude of people out there. And why you should focus in on this specific one, if you're comparing them, is the way the truck was maintained previously. As you can see, especially when we take a look on the inside, there's no scratches, no tears. When you run your hand across that back seat, I really don't think any items or people have set back there. So it is extremely well maintained. We look at the quality of the interior. Now here's where we make the adjustments to the seat. Here. And this lets air in and out of the back of the seat for the lumbar system. This adjusts the pedals right there. In addition, this pops up. And as you can see, WeatherTech floor mats on both sides as well as the front. As mentioned, this has a soft topper on it. And that is certainly a product that has become very popular in the last four, few years. You compare that to the old fashioned hard tops, there's lots of advantages to this. One, it is substantially lighter. It can be taken off and put back on very easily. Second of all, it is collapsible. So you can collapse it from the inside as well. So there's a couple advantages. There's a reason that those are so popular. As we take a look directly behind, we see a hitch for a bumper pull trailer. As we come on up, we see sensors running across the back. So if someone or something is right here, from here down, you're gonna be able to detect that. We see the Ford badge here with F-150 written across there. Here is the backup camera. As we let the tailgate down, we can see that the bed is already lined. And as we look at the sides of that soft top, you can see how that is collapsible and very simple to do. As we come on around and admire the truck from this side, we can see there aren't any scratches, aren't any dents, anything like that. Now, if you are a first time buyer, okay, let's say you're a young person, 18, 19 years old, we actually have a bank that is really known for lending to that particular customer. Here's an example of it. My daughter just turned 18 a couple of years ago, was in this exact same situation. She was able to do that and get her a note to get her started in her life and get her credit started on her own. She didn't need dad to co-sign. It was about 10% down. We were able to do that. And really for someone just starting out, a really good interest rate as well. So she's been able, you know, since those payments are so low to double some up. So that's something to keep in mind if you are, you know, getting your child started. This particular truck would be one to really take a strong look at. As we take a look inside the passenger seat, the adjustments are identical. Now that console can be lifted up and there is a small seat underneath there as well. So if you did need to haul an additional passenger, all you gotta do is pop that console up. As we take a look inside the glove box, it comes with the original manuals as well. As we take a look at the back seat, again, no scratches, no cigarette burns, 
anything like that. The truck was really all maintained. Let's crawl on in and take a closer look. So I did bring with me, here's the original window sticker of the truck that basically confirms what we've been talking about. If you take a look, this truck was right at, right under $50,000 brand new. And there's still a lot of this truck that is new. As I mentioned, the back seat, I don't even think has been set in. In addition to that, I printed out the Carfax for this truck. As you can see, no, no accidents, anything like that. And the real impressive thing as you go through here is all of the service records. Pages and pages of service records. So what does that tell us? That tells us that the previous owner cared about this truck and wanted to maintain it. And that's exactly what they did. They lived over on the western slope of Colorado. All the service records were done in Grand Junction. So there's a history of the truck in addition to showing you what the truck was worth when it was brand new. In addition, I can give you this if you want this email to you, which is a complete breakdown of what is on the truck. So as we take a look at it, right here is Hill Descent. So for coming down, such as the Rocky Mountains next door, you can press that button to help assist you coming down. Traction control is located right there. As we take a look at the screen, one service that we will provide is hooking up your Bluetooth for you. So before you're ready to go, we'll have all of that set up. It comes with navigation as well. Right here has six presets for radio stations. That's an additional service we will provide is getting all that set up and ready to go. Right there is the backup camera we looked at on the outside. This truck is four wheel drive. Obviously right now we're in two wheel, but you have the options for four high, four low as well. This is trailer assist. So when you go to back up your trailer, simply turn the dial to the direction you want the trailer to go and it's gonna correct that for you. Trailer brake located here. As we come across and take a look at the console or the climate control, just standard for Ford, heat and cool as well. And you can adjust the fan speed and the temperature is here. And finally, we see charging ports located down here. So as we review, this is a 2017 Ford F-150 with approximately 87,000 miles on it. If you have any other questions, please give me a call at 303-684-3404. You can also email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com or for more information, simply click on the link below. Thanks for tuning in today.